Hello everyone, I'm back with another video on fluid sensors and this time I'm going to cover emergency stop circuit. Without further ado, let's focus on the content of this video. So the first question, when we need emergency stop and how we can use emergency stop. Emergency stop control switch is basically actuated by the operator when we are in dangerous situation. The emergency stop operating device must have a mushroom bottom, which means we cannot use any sort of switch and saying, okay, that is the emergency stop. It should be in red color and the area under the emergency stop should have yellow color as you can see in here in this image. Indirect operation by pool wire or foot pedal can be done. It is permissible to use pool fire or foot pedal. And if there is more than one workstation or operating panel, each one must have its own emergency stop operating device. We cannot use just one emergency stop and consider it for any workstation that we have in our system. As I said, the color should be red and the area under the emergency stop should have yellow color. And once we basically actuate emergency stop, the drives must be shut down as quickly as possible and the control system should be isolated from the electrical and pneumatic power supply where feasible. So that is the case when we are turning on the emergency stop, we should take care of all electrical and pneumatic components. Everything should be turned off when the emergency stop is there. Okay, now let's see how the circuit of emergency stop looks like and how we can design it inside an electro-pneumatic circuit and basically an electro-pneumatic system. So as you can see in here, what we have is, uh, we basically have the main power supply, right? And we have the circuit energized and emergency stop released as you can see. So this is the main switch, right? We, when we turn on this main switch, the system is going to start working and this main switch is connected to this relay and the relay is basically connected to a make switch whenever this is on right this is going to be on right and from there we would have this make switch on and we have an emergency stop which is a mushroom type and it is basically a brake switch right so the the current status is on so the system is closed and the current can pass therefore k2 is going to be energized and from there we would have this one this k2 which is a make switch in on condition therefore current can pass from this energized part of the circuit to here and 1s3 is basically a brake switch here basically we don't need to turn it on the system is going to operate and this lamp is going to be in on condition now let's say we are in dangerous situation so if the dangerous situation is happening and we have an operator, the operator should turn on the emergency stop. So once the emergency stop is on, basically we are breaking the circuit, right? We are cutting the current from K2. Basically, this is going to cut the current from here to K2. K2 is not going to be energized anymore, right? Therefore, this make switch is going to be off. It cannot pass current to here. To this part of the circuit in which we have let's say the lamp but in reality there would be an actuator for example right in our next video we will see how an emergency stop can be used in a big circuit and how we can stop the operation of that big circuit with the use of this mushroom type emergency stop and here you can see how basically the system operate right the current passing as i said we have this relay in on condition it is energized this make switch is going to be closed current will pass and from there we would have this one in closed condition current pass and the lamp is going to be in on condition whenever we turn on the switch basically what will happen is we won't have any current passing to this k2 the system is not going to operate anymore and we will stop the system from operation and whatever we have after here and after here connected to the system is going to stop from operation so that is how emergency stop 
works. In the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can design this simple circuit inside Fluid Sim. And in our future videos, we will see how emergency stop can be used in big electroneumatic circuits to stop operation of actuators, multiple actuators. Okay. We discussed emergency stop, how they operate, and we also covered the circuit of emergency stop. In this part of the video, I'm going to design the emergency stop inside fluid scene and see how it works. So as you might remember based on the first part of the video, for emergency stop, we need to have basically the power supply similar to any other electric side of basically electroneumatic circuits. So for power supply, I'm going to bring this uh, part and 24 volt and zero volt, right? And then we need to have a few switches. So the first thing that I'm going to bring is basically a push button switch, putting it here and then the, the next one is basically relay. So we need to have a relay. And I'm going to extend this side a bit. And extend this side too. Now we can connect basically the first switch on the top part and the relay to the bottom part, right? So basically we have the potential difference now between point this point actually and this point, right? The next step is bringing the make switch. And as you know, the make switch is located inside switches and we have to go to general switches and bring one make switch here, right? And then I'm going to connect the top part of this make switch here and then extending it a bit to towards this way till the end as you see here and then the next step is bringing uh, basically the emergency stop right the emergency stop as you might remember was a mushroom type in the form of a brake switch right so this is the emergency stop the mushroom type that we need so i'm going to bring it here and connect it to this line right and the next thing that we need again is a relay so for relay again we have to go inside relays and then i'm going to select this relay and bring it here connecting to this emergency stop right so we have it connected the next step after here basically bringing a make switch which is going to be connected to this relay right so another make switch which is located inside the general switches. So bringing that one here and connecting this to the top part, right? And then again, what we have to do is extending this side a bit until the end, right? And then we can have the part we want to have basically a stop from operating, right? And that is going to be a switch connected to a lamp here. But in our next video, we'll see a complex circuit in which we have emergency stop and that emergency stop is connected to multiple actuators and with the use of emergency stop we can stop the system from operation all components of that circuit can be stopped and now what we need is bringing one I'm going to bring uh, a brake switch but we can use basically a push button switch too, right? So we have the main switch here. We turn on the main switch and once the electricity is here, we can turn on the push button switch that is connected to that lamp that we already saw. So I'm going to bring one brake switch here and with the use of brake switch, we don't need to turn it on, right? So just connecting this to the top part. And then, in order to see the system is working, I'm going to bring a lamp from measuring instruments and connecting this here, right? And the bottom part is going to be connected here. So 
Now we have every single component here connected. The, the next step is providing the labels for each of them. So I'm going to call this one S1. Hit OK. This is going to be called K1. And this K1 is going to be linked to the make switch, right? So just click on this make switch and we just need to find K1, hit OK. And now it looks at the state of K1. Whenever it is energized, basically this K1 is going to be closed. And this is basically our emergency stop. I'm going to call it E stop. And hit OK. And this is going to be uh, K2, the second relay that we have, which is connected to the emergency stop. Hit OK. And then here we have basically connection between the second relay and this uh, make switch. So we have to choose K2. Whenever that is energized, this is going to be basically closed and passing the current to the next component. So hit OK. Here, I'm going to call this one as three. And after that, we have lamp. And uh, generally for naming lamps, we use L. And because we have just one lamp, I'm going to put L1 and then hit OK. So now if we start the simulation, right? And if I start the switch here, right? You see the system is going to operate and this lamp is going to be on. Basically, the system is working, right? So let me uh, change this part a bit. Instead of push button switch, I'm going to use a push button beaten switch, which means whenever we basically push it, it is going to hold its uh, status, right? So I'm going to call it S1, hit OK. Now we turn it on, right? If I turn this on, you see this is energized, right? Once it is energized, this make switch is going to be closed and it is passing the current from this side. And at the same time, we have this K2 relay closed because of this emergency stop. Because it is in the form of brake switch, it can pass the current. Now, if I push it, let's say a dangerous situation is happening somewhere and we need to turn it off, right? So just quickly pushing it and you see the system is not passing the current to this operating part. So you won't have any current here and this lamp is going to be off. So that is how emergency stop works. And basically, as you see, it is connected to a relay and that relay is connected to a make switch. And that make switch is where we have the, the main components, right? The main actuators afterwards. So with the use of these uh, type of uh, circuits, we can use emergency stops and we can basically turn off the system from the operation. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe our channel.